Hey everybody, welcome to our Ask the Broker show. I'm David, this is Richard, and today we are talking about the importance of video in your real estate business. Isn't that uh, what we're shooting right now? Yeah, we're, talking, we're doing a video about video, right? So <laughs> um, a lot of agents, for whatever reason, are just hesitant to the idea, and it could be they don't like themselves on camera, they don't like the way they sound. Uh, you name the excuses, I have heard them all. Uh, but hopefully this video will, might get through you a little bit and help you take that next step. Uh, but before we get into some ideas, um, we have a couple stats here from this article we found on why you really should consider doing more consistent video. Yeah. And what's the first one that you've seen here? Well, these numbers really pop out at yeah. you. 85% of buyers and sellers want to work with a realtor that does videos. Wow. 85%. That's... If you just said that five years ago, I bet that number would have been a lot less. Yeah, and I just came to mind why that may be the case. And um, a lot of the buyers entering are millennial age, and that's yeah. the majority of home buyers are that age group are entering their first time home buyer years. And yeah, of a little course, more high tech. They're high yeah. tech, younger, so I can see how that can appeal to them. Yeah. Uh, the next, the next stat that really jumped out of. Of, uh, to us out of all of them here was uh, social video posts get shared 1200 percent more than text and images uh, so it's <laughs> definitely uh, video is definitely uh, wow. being seen a lot more than text and images uh, quite uh, much more so than than good thing, anything else <laughs> yeah good thing we're doing videos huh? yeah so one of the main questions we always receive or always get is, what should I shoot a video about? Um, they have a hard time coming up with topics. So we're gonna go over a couple today. Hopefully one resonates with you to uh, get you over the hump to start shooting more videos. So uh, what's, right. what's one category that they can consider shooting videos on? Well, we're in real estate, so mm. stats about the market. You know, you we do a monthly market update and you could do that also because it's easy to find the information right there on your MLS. Mm -hmm. So what is the market doing? Yeah. That's a big question people ask. You're going to answer it with a video. So what kind of things can they talk about in this update? Well, the uh, number of sales that happen, mm. the average sale price, how many days uh, homes are on the market now. If you kind of look at a combination of those, you see which way the market's going. You can mm. dictate which way the market's going for your own concerns. So a lot of good information right there. Again, locally here, that's on our MLS, and mm -hmm. that's where we get that info. Yeah, and there's, there's so many resources out there to find uh, national data as well as uh, local data, even to our county, to our city, to a specific zip code. Uh, so it's yeah. th the data is there, and it's just a matter of um, packaging that into a video. You can you can shoot a longer length video like we do, five to eight minutes, or you can literally uh, do a thirty second video with some updated stats about the city that you're in. It's it's relatively yeah. relatively easy. Um, but what I found is people want to know your opinion of the market. Like, okay, the days on market last month was this. This month, it's this. What does that mean? So yeah. to explain Where are what we it going? means. Yeah. yeah. So I definitely recommend. I love that idea of doing a, some sort of housing update video. Uh, the second idea in the article that we've came across is some community videos. So um, if you want to be known as the local expert in your area, in your city, then you can do videos on local parks, uh, perhaps schools, restaurants, new restaurants that open yeah. up, um, any sort of local events that are taking place. I mean, really, it's endless. Uh, Shopping, the, transportation keeps going. Yeah, yeah. parks, uh, golf courses, lakefront videos. All of these um, are open game to showing you as a local expert in the area that you want to be seen as the expert in. Yep. Yeah. I've seen you shoot a few with the local uh, businesses. They were great. That's true. They worked out well. All right. Uh, one more category to consider is um, general real estate, um, we'll call it knowledgeable videos, where you're educating the public on certain aspects of real estate, whether it be for buyer 
or for sellers. So what so, are some things they can talk about? Uh, how to prepare your house for sale. Mm -hmm. You know, the, some of the basics and with pictures or videos, it looks better. Uh, decluttering, look at this house, now look at it. Uh, paint, uh, landscaping, you know, you could show before and afters. They really mm. hit home. So that, that's uh, two yeah. or three of them right there. Yeah, and literally you can take out the purchase agreement and on in that document, there's probably 50 places where a buyer would typically have a question. So yeah. pick one of those questions that a buyer would normally ask right. in an offer and explain it in a video format. Um, it's just that easy. For example, um, how soon does a deposit need to be made to title an escrow? And, and how much does it have to be? And how much does it have to be? Simple, easy uh, video that explains and shows that you're the expert in the field. Right. Um, so here's a few different video examples uh, that we hope you can take, take, take it and run with um, and start creating your database of videos. The super popular, you should be doing them too. We that's are. <laughs> that's right. All right, well, uh, those are our suggestions for the day. Uh, we appreciate you watching our Ask the Broker video. We'll see you on the next one.